Like most prospectors, I have a love-hate relationship with black sand. Um, I love it because where there's black sand, there's usually gold. I hate it because where there's gold, there's usually black sand. And it can be a real pain to pan out, especially when you're trying to get those last bits of flower gold. If most of the black sand is uh, the magnetic type, magnetite, one solution is to use a magnetic extractor. This is a uh, non-magnetic cylinder with usually six magnets on a plate on the inside. You press it down on the sample, the magnets attract the magnetite, you move it to someplace else, and then when you pull the handle, the magnets are pulled away from this aluminum face and the magnetite falls down. For example, just like that. The problem I have with this is that I've always been concerned that uh, fine gold might be trapped between the little fingers created by the magnetic fields. Now, gold isn't magnetic, it's not attracted to the magnets, uh, but it might get pinched and held back, especially fine gold. So what I'm going to do in this test is take some magnetite and add to it a certain amount of gold use the magnetic extractor and see if all of the gold is recovered. If I find that uh, some of the, uh, the fine stuff gets trapped in with the, uh, the magnetite, then I know that uh, there are risks with this procedure. Now, I'm using a range of sizes. That's a uh, plus 8, a plus 12, a uh, plus 20, plus 30, two plus 50s, three plus 70s, and uh, three more plus 100s. These are the ones I think uh, are most likely to be, uh, to be lost. So, let's see what happens. This is really hard. This just doesn't feel right. Uh. This is very, very wrong. I'm going to follow the typical extraction procedure where you pick up a sample, shake it around, move it here, release it, shake this around to settle things down, pick it up, and repeat again and again and again. Usually by the time you get to the sixth bin, all of the gold should have fallen out in these earlier ones. And we'll be able to see if that really happens. Here we go. Well, okay, let's see what we got. We'll assume that there's nothing in there, and we'll start with the number one, number one bin. Okay, I had to break the action there because it turned out it was harder to find the gold, the small gold, than I thought. But the results are this. Everything was in the very first sorting bin, except for two of the 70s. They snuck into the second sorting bin. There was nothing any further. So what this tells me is with good confidence that I can use magnetic separation to get rid of magnetite without fear of losing gold. So I hope you found this uh, helpful and interesting and thank you for watching.